status actually on the humanitarian aid. But equally uh, as important issue is the fuel. So now the UN agency are saying that no fuel is impossible to get fuel to Gaza. And you know it's vital for the hospitals. So is what efforts are the White House is leading? to push the Israelis to allow fuel in. So as you know, the pier is in place, which is very important. It'll be operational in upcoming days. So that's important. And obviously the Department of Defense will have more specifics on that. And so we're confident that we're going to be able to uh, distribute this type of aid to get that in uh, to Gaza. And uh, so we continue to have conversations with the UN uh, and the Israelis and also NGOs to ensure to ensure humanitarian workers are protected and we, we continue to get that aid in. You heard from the National Security Advisor just mo days ago speak from this lectern to say that we are trying to do everything that we can from air, uh, sea, and land to get that humanitarian aid in. It is, we understand how critical that is uh, to get done. And so this pier is now in place in the up next couple of days, uh, very, you know, coming days, we'll get that moving. And that is one way, obviously, we're going to get that fuel in, get the aid in. And obviously, we're still working on the land crossings. And as you just heard, I gave some updates on, on the trucks that have gone in uh, to one of a new crossing that just opened up and obviously Karim Shalom. So we are committed. This president is committed in getting that done.